On the story, we've now asked Paula Tanaglia to join us. She is the Director of Operations at Action Against Hunger Canada. The organization works in those countries highlighted by the UN. So, Paula, thank you for joining us today. Uh, how, to your understanding, what are you hearing as to what is taking place on the ground? We've got a, a complex emergency happening in, in all of those different countries, uh, and it's manifesting itself in different ways. Uh, but we do have um, really high rates of malnutrition, higher than we've seen in, in, in many years. Uh, and it's affecting a, a huge volume of people. Um, and we are very concerned about the, the number of children that, that this uh, crisis has the potential to affect. Well, you know, as, as we heard from the UN, this has the potential to be the largest humanitarian yeah. crisis since 1945. And here we are, we're, we're only in March, and the UN's already making this declaration. It seems yeah. to underline just how dire it is uh, on the ground. Yes, definitely. Yeah, we have 1.4 million children that we are that we already know are on, on the brink of, of severe acute malnutrition, uh, and, and a lot more people that, that we are concerned about as the, the population figures will, will grow. Well, from, Megan was just telling us that the UN says that really at the heart of this problem are ongoing conflicts in yeah. the region. Give us a bit of the historical context what has led up to this point there's many things and and the four countries are also different mm -hmm. but there is a compounded uh, a conflict happening in these regions you have political instability you have uh, uh, you have drought and compounded drought um, and you've had food crises happening and and all of those things combined lead to a situation where people are not able to access food or they are not able to grow food uh, and it it becomes a, a food crisis at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You know, I think people are listening to this and trying to get their heads wrapped around yeah. it. Uh, how has conflict made it difficult to, to get food aid to them uh, up until this point? What happens is that we, we simply can't access uh, locations where, where people are. Uh, the, if you look at the geographic uh, uh, scope of, of these countries and, and where where the food crisis is happening, it's 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 very big. So us actually getting our teams into those those places uh, is difficult on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we're right now, I believe the UN is asking for 4.4 billion dollars yeah. is what they're hoping to raise in order to uh, to avert this humanitarian crisis. Even if they are to get that money, though, how easy is it to actually get aid to those who are in need right now? It's going to be a challenge, uh, but it's something that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. We are advocating for, for, for access and humanitarian access, even though that, that space is shrinking. And we, we expect that, that we can do the job. Uh, we have evidence from our programs in Nigeria, in South Sudan, that when we do have those windows of opportunity, we are able to make sure that, that people are, are, are getting aid and they are you know, surviving. Mm -hmm. You know, part of the challenge here is that the UN is making this call from countries around the world, but we're also witnessing countries looking more inward rather than outward when it comes to politics at home. How easily do you think this money will be raised? How ready is the world uh, to listen to this message? Yeah, I think it's going to be a challenge, and we've seen uh, historically that uh, global humanitarian appeals have been significantly and chronically underfunded, uh, so it is a challenge, uh, but it's important to us as, as Canadians and, and people around the world to remember but that these are people, they are real people, they are mothers, fathers, children that are, are suffering, and if we don't go there, we are going to be seeing one of the biggest humanitarian disasters uh, mm -hmm. that the world is well, I, I think it was one UN uh, official that said, you don't think of this as, as one disaster, but millions upon millions yeah. of disasters happening to individual lives. Uh, what role do you think Canada can play in all this? I think that Canada can, can play a, a number of roles. Uh, people in Canada can support organizations that are, are doing good work and, and and making sure that people get through this crisis. Uh, and, you know, Canadian leadership can, can support those countries to, to find political solutions to, to this chronic uh, type of conflict. Paula, thank you very much. Thank you. And that was Paula Tanaglia. She's the Director of Operations at Action Against Hunger Canada. You're watching C.